Welcome to the 10th EnView Composer tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be covering how to embed a YouTube video in, directly into the HTML coding of our web page. Uh, this is a pretty fun tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. Um, for this one we're going to uh, go into our site manager, again opening our COM201 course and opening up the vid.html page. Uh, once you've done that, we're going to go through the same steps you've been you've been coming accustomed to. Right click, table cell properties, uh, coming into our cell and checking the two boxes here. We're going to select top, select center, and then select OK. And that'll put our cursor up here. Uh, we want to then insert our nested table again. Uh, again, coming over here to table and insert, and then selecting table. We're going to do a one column. Uh, three row table and I'm going to select there and I'm going to double click and again make sure you switch from cells here to table I'm going to switch this back to a 600 pixel table uh, zero again zero again two, uh, for the cell padding and our table alignment again in the center uh, we'll select OK uh, now we need our title of our page and this is going to be the COM 201 embedded video page uh, and we want to format this just like we've done with all of our other ones, heading 1, uh, selecting down here. And this is where we're going to actually be putting in our embedded video. Um, before we move on, just go ahead and hit Control S just to save what we've done so far since we're going to be going on to uh, the web. Uh, this is where you should have already completed creating your YouTube account and uploading uh, the video you created earlier in the course uh, on YouTube. We're going to embed that video in here. Uh, for today's purposes, I'm just going to show you a video that I found on the Google Nexus One telephone uh, or cellular device. Uh, again, YouTube is, is, is owned and operated by uh, Google, uh, which was, uh, YouTube was created actually by an IUP student, Chad Hurley, which I'm sure you know, uh, but a, a pretty neat thing about IUP. Uh, so moving on to this, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and minimize uh, EnView, and I'm going to open into your web browser here. And again, I'm using Google Chrome. It's a little different. Uh, if, you, if you're not using that, you can open up whatever web browser you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, and just navigate to that uh, site that, or that page that has the video for the COM201 course. Um, and then uh, towards the bottom, uh, and then again, if this changes in the time, uh, if YouTube has changed this when you uh, view this tutorial, just look around. You're going to be able to find the embed button somewhere on this page. And I'm going to select embed, and you'll see here, boom, drop down menu comes up. And this is the coding. And what's really cool, uh, YouTube has come such a long way with how they uh, put this stuff in here. We can check all these different boxes, and we can do show border. We can enable a privacy enhanced mode. We can have it play in HD. And you'll notice here, look at what happens to the width if we have it play in HD. So I'm actually going to uh, undo that uh, for now and let people uh, make those changes on their own. Um, so I'm not going to have any of these selected. So I'm going to actually uh, come off of here and then select embed again and it's going to uh, change those. So I don't want to uh, uncheck included rel uh, related videos. I'm going to have show border. If you want to pick the um, different pages that you want, you can do that. I'm also going to change my resolution. I don't want it to be that large. If someone wants to view the website a little larger, they can leave this and go right to the page in YouTube. Um, so I'm going to just select the uh, 580 by 360 and once I click on that you'll notice that it changes it right up here as well. So now that my coding is ready to go, if I just click in there, uh, they make it very easy. They highlight it all for you. So the only thing you have to do is right click on it and copy that HTML coding. And once you've done that, you can minimize. And I suggest you minimize in case you make a mistake. You don't want to have to come all the way back and find this. So go ahead and minimize your web browser and then open back into EnView. Now that we're back in EnView, we're going to be inside our second row. That's where we're going to embed this YouTube video. Uh, and, and to do that, we have to actually look at our source HTML coding. That's what's going on by basically behind the scenes of our web page. EnView is allowing us to edit almost like we're editing a Word or PowerPoint document. It's a little different, obviously, but still it's, it's pretty neat in the power that it, uh, that it has to put in the coding for us. Uh, you can see here all of these codes. First, the, the, the down at the bottom here, the body, table, um, and then over to our rows, and then under our nested table, table with inside that, we're in this 
this particular cell, which is this TD tag. Uh, and that's where we're going to have to uh, embed this coding. And, and what I'd like to do is actually format this first so that it plays right in the center of the, the cell. So I'm going to right click inside the cell, table cell properties, and we're going to put in vertical uh, horizontal, I want this to be vertically at the top and uh, horizontally in the center. I'm going to select OK. And now we can actually, let's go ahead and hit Control S to save what we've done. And then go to the source coding. Now notice here, when I click normal, you see my cursor blinking here. When I select source, it's going to jump directly to that part of this. All of this coding is your website. Uh, up here you have your CSS, you have all of the parts of your page. Here's for your first table uh, and then our nested table inside of here as well. Uh, and this is where we want to put that code from YouTube uh, into that particular cell. So coming right in here again, I'm going to right click, paste, and boom, you have all of this text. Look at that text. That is what it will link a permanent link is created to that YouTube clip. As long as that YouTube clip is not taken down, it will be con uh, continually linked here on your page. Uh, and then you can uh, select normal. And when you select normal, the, the page will have increased. You won't be able to really see what has happened inside your uh, page yet. But when we actually browse this, you will be able to. So go ahead and hit Control S to save that uh, right now. So again, as if it looks like the YouTube video is not there, it is actually there, and we can, uh, to, to check this out, just make sure again you hit Control S and you've saved, and then let's go up to Browse, and let's open up our default web browser, and you're going to notice here, now I'm in Chrome, and Chrome's giving me an Adobe Flash Player security, and it's basically saying, is this okay? And I want to say yes, it's, it is okay um, for them to play this video and look right in here I put that border on there here's our YouTube video uh, we can select play it's gonna load the video uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna kinda pause that out so it doesn't play the whole thing uh, but you, you can see here under our, and I apologize, I'm looking at different tabs, you can see here our video right inside of our COM201 course portfolio. You can change the resolution that it was recorded in, you can even bring it into full size, which is a really neat feature that YouTube just puts right in, gives you a lot of power. Um, so that does work. Uh, if yours isn't there, just try to repeat the steps that we've gone over uh, to get that link to be put inside there. Uh, and now I'm going to minimize my web browser and go right back into EndView to finish this out. Uh, what we want to put here at the bottom is, in this our bottom uh, row, is I'd like you to put in a brief description on how you were able to embed that video. Just a brief description on how you were able to embed that video. So I, I'm going to put in how to embed a YouTube video. Uh, and I'm going to put in a colon there. Actually, I'm going to take out that colon. I'm just going to keep this, and we're going to change this formatting. Let's put it in a heading 2, and then go ahead and enter down below. And again, you can do this in a word processing program of your choosing, and then copy and paste it in below. But again, just a brief paragraph describing how you go about embedding that to anyone who is just viewing your page and doesn't know how to embed a YouTube video. This will give them a nice uh, experience as they, they view your com. Uh, portfolio page. Uh, all right, we are done with this tutorial, so go ahead and hit Control S or again File and Save, and that will save this part, and you can move on uh, to the next tutorial.